if I want to be influenced by something, I might as well be influenced by the loving universe. Who is empowering us greatly in every way. Even, even our actions are greatly empowered, even our actions in, uh, in, in duality. Very powerful. It rather feels like a female type of piece, but it's androgen, really. But if I had to pick male or female type of piece, it's rather female. And I love the influence by the universe here. Yeah. I love the golden ratio. On the top of the golden ratio, we can put our frequency-based reality, which is the duality reality. This ratio reality is not a higher octave of some kind of a frequency. As many people believe that you go higher and higher octaves and higher and higher frequency, and eventually we get to God. It's a change of angle, change of attention, change of, it's anything but frequency. Ratio is a very good word for it because we're uh, converging with the golden ratio of the universe. Because we already are the golden, we are already structured as the golden ratio. Our whole body is full of the golden ratio. If you need more uh, information on it, uh, the internet is full of it. And you can Google golden ratio in the body. So if, uh, if I have a hard time believing that I'm God's son, daughter, Well, I'm, I'm already uh, structured that way as the universe. Mm. Keep a little bit of smile. Now, uh, oh. Smile at your chest, or be aware of the smile on your chest. And be aware of the smile on top of your head at the same time. With a, with a little bit of intention and attention, you can send the smile. You can make sure your top of your head is smiling as well. It, um, It's a slightly different experience, but the contrast mind cannot measure it. So eventually we spend so much time doing these practices, it's, I hate to call them practices, that we will notice the difference. But we can't expect the contrast mind to know the difference because this is not in contrast. It's a distinction in the ratio. And eventually the contrast mind will learn and rejoice that it doesn't have to work so hard. It, it realizes that it doesn't have to measure everything. It starts to realize that life as a sinking boat is no longer sinking. Wow, if it's not sinking, 
what am I going to do with all the spare plugs? <laughs> to mm. plug the holes. A whole new uh, value system. is being born. Terrible language, we have to collapse it. <laughs> because it's, it was always there. Our, our re-awareness is new, but it is not. It's wonderful because I'm allowed to use any language because on the end we'll collapse it anyway, so. That's why I'm able to use barn and Stuff like that, because even if somebody doesn't like it, we collapse it anyway. Ooh, smile. We're sitting on the middle of the body, and we're aware of the top of the head. <laughs> and if you feel you need help, your fingers might work really well in uh, arranging the cooperation between the top of the head and the chest. So staying here, there is a, the biggest value to these gatherings is this kind of uh, peace, of sitting together with this kind of peace, no need. Everyone is automatically loved. No need to even think about loving someone you and everyone else is automatically loved. No need to think about unconditional love. Forgiveness. Automatically forgiven. Whatever needs to be forgiven. Which is a duality concept. <laughs> That's why we chuckle at it and collapse it. Ooh. What else is there? Forgiveness and there is, tell me a few good words, spiritual stuff. Acceptance. Acceptance. Mm -hmm. Stuff I that can't think. I can't <laughs> think either, so. <laughs> Compassion, yes, thank you. you. You can list a whole bunch more if you'd like. So we don't need to think of compassion because we're automatically compassionate. I, I cannot think of not being compassionate with someone or not being forgiving or not being loving. So those um, desirable traits, desirable, is that good in English? Desirable traits. Mm -hmm. traits don't have to be practiced separately. Today we're practicing compassion. Tomorrow we're practicing spiritual wisdom. <laughs> and then we're practicing unconditional love. So eventually, if I practice it enough, I'm going to get there. I even have no idea how to practice those things in duality. <laughs> I, I don't know how to forgive somebody without activating this. I can say I forgive you, but it doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was uh, growing up, I think my grandmother said, oh, just forgive him. Okay, I'm, I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> the, the activation of, of this brings automatically with it all the goodies it's like, it's like a huge big bag from, set, from Santa. I have all the goodies that you want. Even the goodies are there that you didn't think existed. Don't need to separately practice the good stuff. 
Simple, it's easy. A little bit of smile, make it stick for you. Stick just means stay there. <laughs> Ooh. Why should the path to God, why should the path to go home be hard? It's hard if the contrast mind wants to understand it, yes. If the contrast mind insists that first I need to understand things and then I'm gonna do. Well, how can you first understand that it's now? In the next moment you're gonna understand it's now and hopefully one of these forthcoming moments are gonna be suitable now. Mm. So if the mind attempts to understand which which I is it that does the something, oh my God, this is hard. Then the mind figures, okay, I should get to a no answer, okay. Oh, that's good. So it's hard if the mind tries to understand and the mind tries to value it. It has no value to the contrast mind, zero, because it's not in contrast. Be aware of your, be aware how wonderful this is, be aware of the breath, reaching every every parcel every every part every cell of you is being reached and the smile and the breath are forming this relationship they forming a relationship because you say so mm -hmm. You can, uh, if there is an outside noise, you can direct your attention and the outside noise and the breath to form a union. The outside noise would give you some chutzpah and the breath is already taking stuff everywhere in the body and the smile adding this amazing golden ratio, the God particle. Isn't it amazing that the God particle relates to a smile? There's no formality, just us sitting. We're not meditating, we can call it that if we want, we're just sitting. I remember when I was visiting uh, my family in the I was relaxing in the living room and uh, my stepmother walked in and said, what are you doing? Why don't you watch some TV or something? <laughs> Sitting is not, an, wasn't an acceptable something. Doing is also wonderful, but doing something from this base is A lot more effective. You bring blessings to all the activities. And uh, for the person who was asking about the 
many years of practice, we bring blessings and peace and wonderfulness to all those years that you think you wasted, which you didn't. <clears throat> and whenever that thought comes up, just smile. <laughs> That we will win every time. Simplicity of love always wins. Always. Thank you guys for being with us and. Uh, Really wonderful to be with you. <laughs>